apples, apples, and more apples. Today on Grandma Bessie's house, we are making a fall recipe classic, applesauce. But we have a treat for you. This applesauce is spiced just right. The recipe and its ingredients are in the video's description. Core, peel, and chop apples. If you are enjoying this video, like and share it. Check out our channel. We have both recipe and gardening videos for you to enjoy. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button and join the GBH community. Slice lemon in half. Squeeze juice from half of the lemon over apples to stop apples from browning. In a large pot over medium heat, add spices. Stir and toast spices. For one to two minutes. Add water and juice from the other half of lemon. Whisk to combine. Add apples. Combine and coat apples and bring them to a boil. Cover with the lid, reduce heat to simmer, and cook for up to 12 minutes. However, at 8 minutes, stir apples and check apples for tenderness. You want apples fork tender, not mushy. If apples are not tender enough, cover pot and continue to simmer, up to 4 minutes. Check apples again to see if they are tender. Remember. You are looking for fork tender apples. Do you eat applesauce with certain foods? If so, leave your answer below in the comment section. Place apples into a food processor or a high powered blender. Add a quarter cup of spiced apple juice from the pot. Process on high speed, 20 to 30 seconds. Check applesauce for consistency. If needed, add more juice from the pot, one quarter cup at a time. Process on high speed, another 20 to 30 seconds. This is the consistency that I like before reheating. Pour applesauce back into the same pot, stir to combine, and bring to a boil. Add brown sugar, Stir, add maple syrup, and stir again. If applesauce is too thick, add water until it is the consistency that you like, and combine. If you have enjoyed this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe below and click on notifications to know when we release new videos. Guys, this is going to taste great. Since I like applesauce cold, once it has cooled on the countertop, I place applesauce in a container and refrigerate for a few hours. But you can eat this applesauce warm at room temperature or chilled. There's nothing else left to do except eat. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.